In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to install Microsoft SQL Server Migration Assistant for Oracle or how we can transfer Oracle data into Microsoft SQL Server. So first here, in Google search box, write there SSMA for Oracle. Then you can go on this Microsoft.com site. Thereafter, you need to select your language. So English there. Let's click on this download button. So you need to download the files. So this here 64 bit operating system. This here 32 bit operating system. So let's uh, select first option. Click on this download. So file is now downloading. And uh, let's uh, refresh that page. And click on this download once again. This time downloading the second file. So SSA for Oracle extension pack. This is the latest version 9.5. Click on this download. So the second file is now downloading. After that, let's select here. Click on this show in folder. Show in folder. So first here, we need to install this SSMA for Oracle 9.5. Click there, then you can see this is installation wizard that's come there. Let's click on this next. I accept. Next. Complete. And install. So here SSI for Oracle install completed. Let's click on this finish. And thereafter we need to install the second file. Extension double click there. And here click on this next, I accept, next, complete, install. And here local, next. So automatically that's taken here, SQL Server. If I open this place, SSMS, then you can see. Or this here, server, that's taken. So here you can see the same name or there. Let's click on this connect. The same name. Thereafter, click on next. Here you can use Windows authentication or server server authentication, whatever you want. Let's click on this next. Here enter the password extension pack master key. So here let's give the pass password. After giving the password, let's click on next. So completed. Do you wanna install another? Let's click no. And here this finished, click on this exit. Then you can see here Microsoft SQL Server Migration Assistant. That's come there. So you need to open this one when you install the icon that's created. So first thing is you need to create the project, new project. So here SQL Server Migration 1, that's name is so uh, okay. And here you need to select the SQL Server version 22 that I'm using. So this you need to select, click on OK. So here project is created SQL Server then after connect to Oracle so you need to connect here with the Oracle so one more thing SID this all so here in this search box write there task manager then you need to go on this detail press here O O then you can Oracle EXE you can get here Let's so uh, right click the open file location. Then or uh, this place, this is your bin bin directory. Let's go this one here. You need to press N. Then network that's come there. Double click on this network admin. Then you can share C TSN SQL listener. So let's uh, click on TSN name. So here you can see 
this here port number 1521 host local host and service name ORC here so this you need to get this and the same thing you need to fill there so let's close this and here server name here local host 1521 the port SID so let's give here ORCL and username giving here the system you should give the system user now after giving this all correct info let's click on this connect so this is now processing and here you can see this so here connection successfully so this all selected there okay I don't want Apex this and uh, here this I also not want so many selected you need to uncheck this this is a system you need, uh, by default this is selected here and here I want escort and uh, the next is HR so this two is going to select here this selected unchecked okay one is uh, selected HR and the next is escort and this here default this XML also selected uncheck this one so after that click on this OK so here you can see this is the status there this is now uh, connecting uh, with Oracle inside the SQL Server Migration Assistant now after waiting few second times here you can see this that's come here click on this plus then if i check there then you can see hr escort system that's come there and this is synonyms this place you can get okay so let's uh, uh, okay let's uh, check that no problem so the next is so the next is going to connect with the sql server click there then here server name so if I go on this SSMS, let's click on disconnect, here connect. So server name you can give this one or here. You should also give the local host. Local system that connecting so that you need to give local host. Server port default that's so selected. Can we enter? We can't enter. We can't edit. So here the next is you need to give the database so what uh, exactly you need to give the database let's click here connect then uh, here you can see Adam database is there there is nothing inside Adam database okay there is nothing inside there so giving go uh, the database name Adam and if you want then you can connect with the SQL server so for this one you need to give the password let's uh, select your windows and here encrypts and this you need to check that trust survey server certificate so let's click on this connect and here continue so this here now you can see uh, this I think that's come there local host and this come there okay so the next is after all doing this all the next process is on checking this one and here let's uh, uncheck system so one by one first uh, going to transfer the HR data inside the Adam database so this selected here only Adam that selected after that right click on this HR and here create report this all you can see here let's click on this convert schema so you need to click on this convert schema so here you can see department to countries only HR that's so uh, here come there inside this so here you can see this all done and now you can see the status this place HR job scroll this all 
so let's uh, close this now you can see this here this all so let's uh, uncheck item and uh, here this that you can see right click there and this we need to synchronize with the database so this come here let's click on this synchronize with the database so here this is the report or uh, this uh, procedure you can create sequence you can create tables you can create let's click on this ok so now this uh, synchronizing synchronization that's completed and after that let's uh, refresh uh, this sms and go on this database adam and here adam now you can see or uh, this hr tables that comes inside the sql server microsoft sql server and if i right click there let's select top 100 but you cannot get the data this place so there is nothing inside there so what we need to do right click there on this hr and let's click on this migrate data so for this one we need to give the password for the system and click on this connect and here windows that's fine let's click on this connect so migrating so this here you can see this is the rows if you want then you can save the report so that's so uh, done here after that right click this and uh, this uh, you know need to do this one right now and now if i execute this query so here you can see the data that's come there inside the table so this here countries let's uh, select here so now you can see this so here this is how we can uh, use sql server as a strength for oracle and this is how we can or uh, this is how we can this is how we can transfer data oracle data into sql server the same process you can do with the escort so uncheck this let's uh, select here escort right click then convert schema and this is converting within a quick second times it's done here and uh, after that converting you need to uh, see escort that come there let's uncheck this tools only select escort if you select all this all will gonna migrate now you need to synchronize with the database click there so let's click on this ok and this is synchronizing and thereafter right click there migrate data give the system password and to click on this connect here this is for sql server this is migrating the data this is the report this turn without any failure and now if i go on this refresh so we need to refresh this connection and now let's go on this database adam and here you can see escort that also comes so escort that also comes okay data with data so this is the way we can perform here data migration using microsoft sql server migration assistant for oracle so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you